Hi guys, my name is Benjamin Tong. I'm from New Zealand. I've been using online jobs for the past four years. Um, and through that time, I've found eight different employees to, uh, to use for several of my online businesses. In this video, I'll be running through a little bit about my online businesses, why I hire through online jobs and why you probably should too. My first business was a online lead generation site in the home and commercial security niche. It was a basic content site and uh, we allow visitors to request quotes. So we send those quotes on to local installers and uh, that's how we make our money through, uh, through that site. So uh, my second business was a pair of sites in the uh, accommodation affiliate niche. So they also were content sites. Um, visitors would go on there to, uh, to view information about different cities. Uh, when they booked uh, vacation rentals through our sites, we, uh, we got commissions on those. So uh, my third business was a uh, online dropshipping site. So we sold uh, outdoor wear, uh, outdoor homeware, and uh, we handled all the marketing, the, uh, the site management, the advertising, uh, and our manufacturers shipped uh, directly to our customers, and these are all uh, US-based. So uh, my most recent business is, uh, is an Amazon FBA business. Uh, we've been doing that for the last two years, and that's been our key focus. So uh, we manufacture home and kitchen wear in China and we, uh, we ship that to, uh, to the US and we sell on Amazon.com. So in the last fourth quarter, we, uh, we shipped out four 40 foot floor loaded containers and that's up a huge amount from our, our first shipment, which was in Q4 of 2016, where we shipped out three pallets. So uh, some very good growth in, in uh, our Amazon FBA business in the last two years. So Online Jobs PH has the largest talent pool of work from home professionals in the Philippines that I've found anywhere online. Obviously with the, the largest talent pool comes your highest chances of finding a hire that's going to fit uh, your job. Now depending on the types of jobs that are posted, I've had it anywhere from 30 to 100 different applicants. Uh, obviously this depends on the type of job you're posting. If you're going to be posting for a general VA, expect um, uh, that on the high side. If uh, you're posting for a uh, developer or a uh, specialized designer, you can expect a bit more on the lower end. Now, uh, Online Jobs charges $69 for a one-month membership. That includes three different job postings. So if you are looking to post up more than three postings uh, in that one month, you'll, uh, you'll probably be better to look at their premium plan, which, which I haven't used before. But um, it's got a few different interesting upgrades. Um, so it's got unlimited job postings for that month. Uh, it also has uh, free worker coaching and uh, free background checks, which um, I believe uh, would be pretty useful. Something I'm, I'll be looking to give a try on my next hire. So um, other job sites will charge you an ongoing percentage. Um, and obviously that's paid by, uh, by you, the employer. Uh, I like that online jobs is a simple one month fee after that, you just deal direct with your, uh, your new employee, um, cut, cutting out the middleman. Now, hiring out of the Philippines has uh, three main benefits. Uh, the first is that English is a native language. Uh, obviously, that makes it a lot easier to communicate daily with your, uh, your VA, uh, less chance of, uh, of uh, misunderstandings as well. Now, um, the second is the, uh, the wage savings. In the US, you'd be expecting to pay about $2,500 for a, uh, an average skilled employee. Um, in the Philippines, for a similarly skilled employee, you'd be looking at about $500. So, you know, that's one-fifth of the price that you're, you're paying for a, a similarly skilled worker in the Philippines versus the US. Now, also, the Philippines has an established labor force of, uh, of trained and skilled online workers. Um, you know, the Philippines has been very strong in the business processing uh, or BPO industry over the last 20 years. So they've got a lot of experience, a lot of call centers set up in the Philippines. Um, they're used to this work from home style of working. And so um, no matter what sort of job that you're looking to post, there's a very good chance that you'll be able to find a hire which has experience, has worked in a similar sort of um, industry and who, uh, who may well be able to slot into your job uh, without much fuss at all. In the last four years, I've used online jobs to fill eight part-time and full-time positions. So I've hired two writers, uh, one general VA, uh, one graphic designer, and four customer service VAs. The, uh, the first content writer I worked with for uh, just over a year, 
Uh, the other was part-time for, uh, for about four months. Now, they wrote me articles um, on home security, um, on uh, city guides for our accommodation websites, pro descriptions for our e-commerce store. Uh, they both turned out very good, high quality work um, and very fast. Um, hiring writers, uh, I found this a lot easier than hiring any other type of, of, uh, of VA. Uh, really just need to review their, uh, their past work and then give them a paid trial, um, give everybody the same paid trial with the same brief and, um, and find out if their writing style matches what you're looking for in a writer. Now, um, I've generally found that writers in the Philippines will, uh, will naturally write in a much more formal tone. So, um, you know, great if you need sort of informative style articles, but, um, you know, if you need a writer with a, a witty and entertaining writing style, um, that's it's going to be more difficult. Um, probably a better idea to look in the US for, uh, for one of those sort of writers, but um, of course you expect to pay 5, 10, maybe even 15 times more than what you pay in the Philippines. So um, my general VA was with me for about six months full time um, and then shifted to, uh, to part time uh, as the work sort of slowly dried up. Uh, Vincent has been my only male hire VA. Um, you know, the reason for that is uh, there's just a, a whole lot more female VAs looking for work in the Philippines uh, than male VAs. Uh, Vincent was great. Uh, he was hardworking, um, reliable. He handled uh, a lot of email outreach for me, uh, basic image editing, blog posting layouts, um, and posting itself uh, for several of our different websites. So, um, uh, a quick tangent: uh, general VAs, um, you know, are definitely the, uh, the most popular staff hires, and you always get a ton of applications. Uh, people always like to talk about the uh, the super dream VA, uh, that VA who can handle pretty much any task you can throw at them. Uh, unsurprisingly, I've, I've found that Super VA to be a bit of a myth too. So uh, instead, I, I suggest that you, uh, you select two to four of your most important skills that a, a VA should have. Um, and, uh, and then after that, you're, you're sort of looking for attitude. Um, I always like to ask a question as to, um, to what have you done to improve your skill set in the last year. So um, this shows that they're the sort of uh, person who's actively trying to improve their skills to get better. Um, now, with this sort of mindset, with this sort of uh, attitude, you're going to find it a lot easier to, to train people um, new tasks, um, things which they perhaps don't have a background in, but um, they're willing to learn and, and put the work into getting better. Now, um, my designer, I, um, I initially hired Crystal to work on t-shirt designs. Uh, she's actually now been my go-to designer for, uh, for well over a year on a project-by-project uh, -project basis. So uh, she now helps me with everything from package design to, uh, to banner ads, um, image editing, uh, pretty much anything which re revolves around graphic design she, she helps me with. Um, now she hadn't had a lot of experience in, in some of these, like, uh, like packaging design for products, but um, again I say she's, um, she's got a growth mindset and she works to, uh, to actually get better at these things. So with a bit of patience on both sides, uh, it tends to work out very well. All right, now, customer service VAs, I've, I've hired four customer service VAs for our uh, Amazon FBA business and our e-commerce business. Uh, we've had a much harder time finding uh, a good match for those. Uh, the problem is for our business is that we need phone support um, and uh, phone support during US hours. So um, that's, that's effectively a graveyard shift in the Philippines. Um, so phone support, graveyard shift, two things that you'll, uh, you'll find a lot of VAs be uh, quite reluctant to do. So obviously our talent pool is a lot smaller uh, and it's just, just been a, um, a reasonably high turnover and, and not an easy task to find uh, good VAs for this sort of job. If you're after a, a capable VA who perhaps only handles emails, um, you need a 24 hour window reply like a standard Amazon FBA VA, it's going to be 100 times easier to find than, uh, than what we need in, in our business. So, um, right, that, that's about all from me. Um, and I can say that I 100% um, I recommend online jobs for anybody who's looking to make a hire out of the Philippines. Um, as I said, I've used online jobs to fill eight different roles in my business, and um, I'll be using them again in the future uh, as I need to, to find new staff members. So, um, also, if you, um, you're ready to make your, your hire, um, I actually have filmed a, another video, it was about a year ago, with 10 of my best tips for hiring virtual assistants, uh, specifically the, using online jobs. So um, I even include two, uh, two of my standard hire templates, so uh, my job description briefs. Um, that should uh, help get you started and, and make life a little bit easier, just uh, drawing up that brief. So uh, thanks for watching my video, um, I hope you got some value out of it, and uh, that's all from me. Cheers.